The rapier system is hugely essential to the British Army and also to the RAF and the Navy. It can provide land, ground-based air defence and defend any complex divisional headquarters area or an airfield and other uh, opportunities that might need defending against the enemy air threat that is out there, whether that's fast jet, cruise missiles um, or unmanned aerial vehicles. Very effective at taking down um, the current threat that we may face. The Hebrides is very much similar to um, the Falklands where we're likely to deploy. We receive from the ammunition bunker a number of missiles that we can then load onto the beams. These missiles are a two-man lift, a uh, very complicated weapon system. It is a missile and therefore it need, people that move it need to be very careful in how they do. Uh, if it is dropped, you may damage it um, beyond repair. The weight of it is 45 kilograms to lift it onto the beams. And they have to be very careful to not damage the fins that are on the missile because if there is damage to the fins, the potential for the missile to go awry uh, increases. The soldiers respect the equipment enough to know that when they are placing it on essentially what that missile can do flying off to speeds of plus uh, Mach 2 um, they need to be very careful that they don't damage it before it um, does its job. Now, of course if you had a fast jet costing X amount of millions of pounds uh, and we were wanting to shoot that out of the sky it would be a very expensive exercise so a company has designed a target called a Banshee uh, which depending on the payload that it's fitted with is about 20 to 50,000 pounds and it is a smaller replica of a fast jet. It doesn't go at the same speed, however it's a perfect training opportunity in this environment when we're at this progressive stage to be able to train 18, 19, 20 year olds to launching their first live missile and we want to make sure that they get the best experience they can so that when they come to do it for real against a fast jet they're as best prepared as they can. There are elements that are automatic, so there is a surveillance radar which can look out to a certain distance to identify friend or enemy assets. If they are enemy, then we revert down to the manual operator who can then engage the missile and he can track the missile onto the enemy asset. Hello, target. It's important to have a man in the loop to make sure that we have control of the system. Okay, continue to track. This is as good as it gets for the soldier and they need to make sure that when they are moving it around, preparing it before it fires, firing it, giving it the respect it deserves and ensuring that when we do call to fire, the equipment will work. We put in a measure that fools the missile system into believing that it is hitting the target when in actual fact it's not. Engage! Fire it! But it is a big ask for a 19 to 20 year old to fire a missile which costs a lot of money at a very expensive and dangerous enemy threat. Target hit! 